Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our next example where we're trying to factor this expression, basically simplifying through factoring. And uh, the first thing we'll want to do is see if there's any common factors. Notice there's, there's three terms, one, two, and three, separated by negative signs. And in each term, we have an even number, which means we can factor out a two, and we have an x we can factor out as well. So when we do that, we factor out a 2x, then we're left with a 6x squared minus 13x and minus 8. Now we need to factor this. And the technique to use there is to write this as a, a polynomial of four terms. We're going to take the middle term and write as two separate middle terms. So this can be written as 2x times the quantity 6x squared. We write the minus 8 over here. And then we'll write the number the x twice because we're going to write minus 13x as a sum of two terms. What are the coefficients that need to go here? Well, we can find those by saying that the product of those two numbers must equal 6 times the negative 8. In other words, these two numbers multiplied together should give us a minus 48. And, of course, when we add them together, we should get a, ne a negative 13. So the sum must equal negative 13. So what numbers can I multiply together to get a 48, a negative 48, and when I add them together, I get a negative 13? Well, that means one number must be 13 bigger than the other number, and it must be the negative one. So let's see here. How about 16 times 3? Yes, I think that will work. A minus 16 times a plus 3 will give us a minus 48. And when I add them together, minus 16 plus a positive 3 gives us a minus 13. So minus 48, minus 13, these are the two numbers. In other words, I'm going to write the minus 13x as follows. I'm going to write it as a plus 3x and a minus 16x. Now I'm going to group these in groups of 2. And in each group of 2, I can factor out something that's common. In the first group, notice what's common is a 3x. When I factor out a 3x, I'm left with a 3, oh, not a 3x, I'm left with a 2x plus 1. And here I can factor out a minus 8, and I'm left with a 2x plus 1. Now realizing that if I look at this term and this term, that they each have a 2x plus 1 that I can factor out. When I do that, I get 2x times 2x plus 1, and then I have left a 3x minus 8. So ultimately, when I take this and I factor it, this can be factored as 2x times 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 8. And that's the final answer. That's the factored form of this original problem. And that's how it's done.